Are you looking to build a garden arbor? You've come to the right place. Welcome to another episode of All Things Woodworking. I'm your host, Aaron. I've provided additional information in the description. Please leave a comment on what videos you'd like to see next. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy what you see. This last winter, 18 to 20 inches of snow collapsed the top of the arbor. We wanted to save the plants because of the cool flowers it produces each fall. We're gonna go ahead and start tearing down this old structure and using it to help us support the, the garden arbor while we um, go ahead and put the new one in. So this was used to hold blackberries and the blackberries have been cleared out and eventually we're going to go ahead and put raised beds. Now we are constructing a platform from the recycled lumber. We'll use it to support the vines while we build a new arbor. By using the pole jack and more of the recycled lumber, we have supported the top of the old structure and the vines. Next, we remove the sideboards so the posts could come out. Two of the support posts had to be cut out. The other two were so rotten I could easily remove them. Now we're going to look at the fail points of the old arbor. Where you're looking at the top of the arbor that came down in the snow. First, not all the wood was pressure treated. The corners even had plywood, which rotted it and caused it to fail. Two, there was a soaker hose that sat at the base of the post. So during the wet winters, the post stayed wet. And then during the summers, when it was being watered, the post also stayed wet, causing it to rot. In fact, the one post had just turned to dust. And three, the posts were put in cement, but were not capped, allowing the water to pool around the posts. And lastly, the structure was 25 years old, so it did have a good long life. show you how I came up with the design for the uh, arbor that I'm doing today and what I did is I went through Pinterest and I found a lot of different patterns and designs and stuff uh, for arbors and I picked bits and pieces from all those that I liked and this was one of the designs that um, my wife liked and so we're gonna go ahead and use it uh, on today's project so what I'm gonna do is take what I, I took a enlarger and I took the picture that I liked um, here and I enlarged it to this size and then turned around and enlarged it again it just happened to come out to exactly five and a half inches so um, that works perfect for what I'm doing today uh, with the two so just take a little bit of multi-spray adhesive get it on there and then also on the board put down the white paper so I don't get it on the table saw I don't need a real good adhesion, just long enough to cut out the uh, cut out the pattern. All right, we're at the bandsaw now. We're going to go ahead and cut out the design. Uh, one of the questions you might have is, why did I leave so much material here? I, you know, you might think that I could chop that off, but in the end, what I'm going to use this as is a storyboard, and it's going to tell me where I need to make all my cuts on on the top boards of the arbor. So. 
Um, more about that later, but let's go ahead and get started cutting out the design. spindle sander we're gonna take a few minutes and just smooth this curve out a little bit you could also do this by hand. now that the main structure is finished we're gonna go ahead and put the top joists up and we're gonna put the design in the end from the template that we created earlier what I did is I measured how long I wanted them and then I cut them off at that length that way I don't have to um, worry about as I'm doing this all I have to do is line this edge up Make sure that I'm square there. You can go ahead and trace my template. I laid out the basic design that I wanted for the lattice. I used cedar fence boards and cut them into strips. The actual lattice sides were built in place. The beams were leveled and put into place, ready for the joists. The joists were evenly spaced on the beam. Then the platform was lowered onto the new structure. Next, we carefully cut out the platform. Thank you for joining us on this episode of All Things Woodworking. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed what you've seen.